If you're voting in the state of Hawaii, you'll see a section on your ballot for the Office of Hawaiian Affairs, or OHA. OHA is a state agency governed by a board of trustees that manages hundreds of millions of dollars worth of land and other assets. It's actually been called Hawaii's fourth branch of government. So what exactly is OHA? And what do OHA trustees do? Before Hawaii became a U.S. state, it was a kingdom ruled by a monarchy. The islands were divided among its citizens, private lands, the royal family, crown lands, and the government, government lands. After American businessmen overthrew the Hawaiian kingdom, the U.S. government took control of the crown and government lands. When Hawaii became a state, the U.S. agreed to pay Native Hawaiians for using those lands. The money would go into a special trust to help people of Hawaiian ancestry. But many felt that the state did not do a very good job of managing the trust. Throughout the 1970s, Native Hawaiians pushed for more oversight of the trust, and during the 1978 Constitutional Convention, OHA was created. The idea was to create an agency made up of Native Hawaiians to advance the cause of Hawaiians, to be a voice for them, and to manage assets that rightfully belong to them. But if OHA was created for Native Hawaiians, why is it something everyone in Hawaii can vote for? In 1996, a rancher from Hawaii Island sued the state, arguing that barring him from voting in an election because of his ethnicity violated his constitutional rights. Today, OHA manages a trust that helps support scholarships, grants, lawsuits, and many other causes. The agency proposes legislation and weighs in on issues affecting Native Hawaiians, including Hawaiian sovereignty, affordable housing, and water rights. But OHA has also struggled in recent years with allegations of corruption and misspending. Critics question whether the agency is really meeting its mission of making lives better for Native Hawaiians, and whether it's spending money fairly. OHA is governed by a nine-member board of trustees, four at-large members, and five representing Oahu, Maui, Kauai, Molokai, and Hawaii Island. Every other year, half of the seats go up for a vote. Want to know more about OHA and current elections? Check out these links.